Diamond Gibson and Miss Josiah Young. Amen. 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 And then our star of the show, representing no other than our pastor, Pastor Arthur Grace, All right. Mr. Christopher Green. All right. Yes. All right. Go, Chris. So now if you've missed years one through six, I feel sorry for you. All right. Because there will be no recap. We are going on through. Maybe later, your pew neighbor will catch you up. But for now, you're just out of luck. Amen. So we're going to start with year seven, uh -huh. the vision. Right. Yeah. God's next purpose is clear now to pass the grace. Uh -huh. It is time for expansion of this place. So in 2011, our pastor shared it with all of us. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. There you go. Year eight, barriers. Mm -hmm. Barriers, all right. All right. Funds were needed to bring the vision forth. Bank said no, people said no, but God said yes. All right, yeah. amen. Yeah. Come on, Take them out. Year nine, unity. All right, all right. United we stand, divided we fall. In 2013, we determined it all. We had to come together for the vision to come forth. And a loan from the bank, yeah, that helped, of course. Year 10, hope. The foundation was poured and bricks were laid. We had hope that the finished product would be made. Year 11, triumph. In 2015 and 16 was a year of victory. Yes. We mm -hmm. packed our bags, moved in, and well, the rest is history. All right. Mm -hmm. Woo. Year 12, rejoicing. Woo. Amen. Amen.
Kaysa. Yes. Before I get lost in, 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 in the text, uh, I want to introduce my wife. Amen. 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 All right now. The first lady I'll be being sent. All right. Amen. 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 Uh, Pastor told me to introduce myself. Uh, I've been here so long, I think a lot of you already know me. Amen. I'm a part of the New Beginning family. But Amen. My name is Al Sanders. I'm the senior pastor in Port Valley. Uh, Bean Center Family Worship Center. We've been around for five years and we started an outreach over uh, yeah. about 12 years ago. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we believe that, that God has called us to make people great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I believe that everybody yeah. has the opportunity of being great. Yeah. Amen. 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 So I'm honored that God stamped today my day and to share with you guys. Now, here's what I need. I need a couple of amen, some hallelujahs, and so we get out of here. Amen. amen. I'm going to keep you here all day. <laughs> amen. So I need a couple of amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we'll get out of here on time. Amen. Amen. Turn with me quickly over to your Bible. And please stand for the reading of the word. I, I promise I won't be long today. I just come to encourage somebody on, uh, on your anniversary. And again, i like to honor... Uh, new beginnings, uh, what you guys are doing here, and I, and I pray that you have many, 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 many yeah. more years. Man. Anniversaries. Psalms 116. Psalms 116. If you open your Bible and just turn it to the middle, you should be able to get Psalms. If you got a good Bible, just open it to the middle. Psalms 116. Amen. Amen. We, we just don't went away from Bible. Psalms 116 and verse 12. 12 through 14. Amen. Yeah. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Okay. I will lift up the cup of salvation Amen. and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of of all his people. Yes. Come on, take your seats. Amen. Amen. Say thanks. Amen. 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 How can I say thanks? Amen. And, and, and I like this. I, I, I like this text because David has gone through a lot of stuff in his life and, and he began to hide from God and, and run from God and, and sometimes he feel like God is nowhere around. Right. Has anybody ever felt like that? And, no, no, no. Yeah. And, and, and yet, you know that there is a God and, and you want to give God your very best praise and mm -hmm. you want to give God your all. And, and so David is mm -hmm. out of himself at this point in his life where he's running, but, but yet he has a heart for God. Right. Yeah. He's going through some stuff in his life from his children passing away and uh -huh. him committing adultery and him having his family separated, but, but yet he's still trying to find a way to tell God, thank you. All right. Wow, I, I, mm. I don't know about y'all, but y'all, I've been there. Mm. I, I, I've been there when I thought that I'd never make it. I've been through the dark times in my life, but I was... Trying to find a way to tell God. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I know that 12 years hasn't been easy. I know it has been some, some dark times. I know it has been some, some trying times. I know it has been some times that maybe pastor and first lady want to just give up and throw in the towel. I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. why, but, but he knows. But, but I'm quite uh -huh. sure today he has a thankful heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. So I thought about I thought about the thing about faith, and I tried. I promise you, y'all, I, I really tried to get something about faith. I even thought about getting out of the boat, but I'm quite sure that somebody touched on that. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, you know, I, I, I tried to think yeah. about walking on water, but I'm quite sure that somebody touched on that, too. Yes. And so uh, God <laughs> said, well, well, when all else fails, just tell me thank you. All right. Yes. 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 When all else fails, just tell me. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I like verse 12. 
I like verse 12 and I get really excited. It said, what shall I return to the law for? For all his goodness to me. What shall I return back to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Now, I think that's a valid question that needs a valid answer. Yeah, and I want you to put yourself in that situation this morning. Yeah, yeah. And God has been really good to you. Uh -huh. Have you ever gave him your very best? Uh -huh. Have you ever gave him your very best praise? Uh -huh. Have you ever gave him your very best worship? Well, Have you given him your best? Yes. Well, I don't mind about what happened here earlier about the word thing, but I believe that they were giving God their very best. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's all right to mess up with you going for a feeling. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. How can I say? Thank, Thank you. you. The psalmist David uh -huh. observed that when he was weak in faith, and out of God's will, I want you to understand that sometimes we all be weak in faith. Amen. Uh -huh. And we feel like we are out of God's will. Yes. I believe that, that it was some times during this building that uh -huh. Pastor Grace Faith was tested. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the enemy, as whenever we get the vision, whenever we get the bill, the enemy begin to start messing. Come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we have sunny days and, 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 and we're doing our very best and, and then we find that the enemy comes in like a flood and begin to try to disturb what God is doing in our lives. Mm, yes. But thank God that he said that, that he can raise up a stand. How can I say thank you? I would just think, but I don't know about y'all, but I'm just glad to be here this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad to be able to see lights in. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, because somebody yes, yes. ain't got no lights and no water. All right. Somebody mm -hmm. is struggling to try to understand, God, what happened. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was sunny one day, and all of a sudden, everything that I own is lost. How can I say thank, thank you? you. Verse 12, how shall I return the Lord for all his goodness to me? And I want you to just think just for a moment. I won't be long. I promise you. I'm going to give you a couple points so we can get out of here. I promise you. But I want you to think about how good the Lord been to you. Just for, just for a moment. Just, just for a second. I want you to make it personal today. How good has he really been to you? Amen. Well, I want you to give God your praise and to be really good to you. I want you to praise God as far as how good he can do you. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and, I, and I like what it says in Psalm 68 and 19. I like this. It's because God wants you to always remember the benefit that he had for you and I. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. When difficult times begin to happen in your life and when you feel like you just can't go another step, God wants you to be reminded that yes. Psalm 68 and 19, I like this. Blessed be the Lord. Yes. Who daily loads us with benefits. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. He said the God of all salvation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So David understood it's gonna be some dark times. Yes. It's gonna be some rough times. Yeah. It's gonna be some times that you can understand what God is doing. Mm -hmm. But still, mm -hmm. there's benefits. Yes. Yes. For walking with God. Yes. Mm. Can I prove it? Can I prove it? Can I push it? Can I push it? Yeah. Huh? Can I push it? Mm -hmm. and, and the first one of the text. Look what it says. I love the Lord. Put verse one on the text. Mm -hmm. I love the Lord. Yes. Verse one. For I love the Lord, for he heard my voice, mm -hmm. he heard my cry for mercy. All right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 what you mean. Yes. God heard your cry. Yeah. Point one of the text oh, is and one benefit that you and I have, that God answers prayers. Yes. Yes, you are being shot right there. Yes, yes he that does. That God answers prayers. Yes, That's what I find out. When you call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord will answer your prayer. Yes, yes. Can I yes. tell you, God, who answers people, and that's the benefit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, sometimes when, when you call me, it all depends on how I feel. If I want to answer you, come on. <laughs> Amen. But, but sometimes I may look at the cell phones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember mm -hmm. about this thing? Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, what you do is you shoot them a text. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, you said, oh, you hit that thing that said, I can't talk now. Nah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But, so said, but, God. But, God. but God will always answer your prayers. Yes. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says this. Call upon me mm -hmm. and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things what thou knowest not. So when you're in the middle of something and when you are going through something, don't call me. Call God. All right. Because when you call God, He'll answer you. When you call me, I may pick up and I may not. Yeah. Yeah. If you call God, He'll answer you. And David understood that. David understood it'd be some time where he called on people and they're not gonna answer. But he understood if he called upon the Lord, the Lord will show him great and mighty things he know not. Yes. Yes. Tell your neighbor to call on God. Call on God. Has anybody in here, have you ever seen God give you something that you didn't even ask for? Uh, yes. Yeah. Woo! He'll give you some stuff that you ain't even asked for. Yeah. Did. Did uh -huh. you know, am I going to give you this? I'm going to give you a bundle and a ceiling. Yeah. What you need to ask or even think. Now, how can I thank you? Uh -huh. Oh, if I call on him, he's going to be there for me. Yes, Lord. And sometimes he'll give me some stuff that I ain't even asked for. Right. See, see, some of you should be shot right now because there's some stuff in your life. Yes, yes. That you ain't even asked for. That yes, God, all right. Yes, of course. Yes. How? Thank you. Thank you. How can I thank a God like that? My, 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 my. He been so good to me. Yeah, extremely, extremely good. How about this? God has opened up some closed doors. Yes. That was closed in your life. Yes. And now those doors are open. Yeah. Now you were the most qualified person to receive the job. It was somebody else's job, but because of the all on your life. Mm. God opened up doors with men has closed. 
Yes. Now I know I'm talking to somebody here. I need five people that stand up and say, now that's a benefit. Now that's a benefit. And you have some closed doors in your life. Yes. Yeah. Verse 5. Oh. 
Oh my God, who, who satisfies? Thy mouth will good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Oh, some of your old folks, I, I, I ain't talking about them, I don't mean to say old, but some of you uh, seasoned folks, you ought to be shouting right now. Yes, yes. Every time you get out of bed, you ought to be just shouting. All right. You, you get renewed like an eagle. Yes. Woo. To young people, we take age. For granted. And we don't think nothing about it. Mm. But then when you get past 50 and you sit on the edge of bed and you got to turn it where you're going to put your feet down the box. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everything that, that was hurting at night, <laughs> God <laughs> And so you're sitting on the edge of your bed and you understand that if I take a step, it's going to hurt. Yeah. Um, but God, but God. I, I'm still here. Yes, yes. Y'all love my God. Come on. We serve a God that gives us benefits. And one, he, uh -huh. he answers prayers. Yes, he does. That you don't even know what to pray for. Has anybody been there? Mm. You're on your knees and you, yes. you, you, you're praying for some stuff that you don't even know what you're praying for. Amen. What you're praying for. You're just praying it and, you, you, and everything passion and coming to you and you can't even form mm -hmm. words and, mm -hmm. and you begin to cry and mm -hmm. you begin to shout. But mm -hmm. God, your prayer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. And can I tell you this that sometimes we can pray the wrong prayer? Yes. yes. Amen. Let me pause just for a moment. Mm -hmm. I want to read this. And I wrote this down. And I'm and I'm gonna thank God that, that I can take time with this. I mean, I take time with nothing but this little simple. I want you to hear. Because sometimes we can pray the wrong prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we pause just for a moment here and look back at your prayers in 2000 just, just for a moment? Mm -hmm. Look back at what you prayed in 2000. For what you was asking God for. And now some of you are thanking God in 2017. Mm. That God didn't give you what mm. you asked for. All right. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Sometimes we pray the wrong prayer. That's right. And the prayers that you were asking God for in 2000, mm. you look back now in 2017 and said, thank, thank you, God. Jesus. Uh -huh. What I wanted. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for my life was a no. Because God, thank God that you didn't let me marry that crazy. <laughs> thank God that you didn't let me get that job. Come on. Yeah. Now. God, thank God. Thank you. Because sometimes you don't even know what you're praying for. Yes, hallelujah. And God said, wait a minute, uh, you don't need to marry that man, but, but I like him. That's my boo. That's my boo. <laughs> that was in 2000, uh, 2000. In 2017, he shot 18 folks, killed a dog. <laughs> And you look back and say, thank God. Thank God. That you didn't answer. And anybody did there. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. That you didn't answer that prayer. <laughs> How can I say thanks? Yeah. Thank you. Pastor, I'm quite sure that if you look back, you must have structured people. You thank God right now that God didn't let you connect to. Uh huh. How can I thank God? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's benefits. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to pray for. I prayed for the wrong thing, and now I had a prayer. I had to pray a prayer that I shouldn't have had to pray. Amen. And then I've been there. Mm -hmm. You prayed a prayer that you never should have been praying. Mm -hmm. Man. Because God told you to do yes, it, Lord. and you did it anyway. Yes. Right. Right. And now yes. you gotta pray a prayer that you shouldn't be praying. Mm. And so David, David understood this, and so he says this. He said, "He said, he said, Lord, I, I, 
I, I know that I've done wrong. Yes. So, Lord, will you help me? Has anybody ever started? You know you're wrong, and you start out your prayer. Lord, if you just get me out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, if you just if get, get me out of here.
uh, that, that I used to set outside his house for, for six and seven hours and didn't brush my teeth and didn't even eat because I was in love. Jesus, Jesus. Mm. Just to see who would come in. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, some Jesus. of you talking about, now yeah. mm. be talking about my cousin. <laughs> 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 but I, want you to, I want you to make it personal because right. David understood this and, and David says this in verse number mm. six he said the Lord preserves the simple mm. yes. yes and he, he says I was brought low and he helped me yeah. because we all done been stuck on stupid Can you come yeah. Out yeah. we done did some stuff for the call oh my God yes. we done did some stuff in the name of love that Place of death. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 
He pulled me out of that. Has anybody here been in a helpful place? Uh, uh, and you thought that you were going to lose your mind if you stay there? Uh -huh. But God gave you the mind and the peace of God to stay in there? How can you think? Oh, shut up, oh, shut up. Yes. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. But the Lord brought you out of a helpful place. Yes. And he placed you on solid ground. Yes. Said the Lord who answered prayer, the God who goes above my petition, yes, the Lord who is patient with me. Yes, How can I render thanks to a God like that? Oh, a lady was talking to me and she said, My mama's on deathbed. I said, Well, you need to run home. It's been every time that you got with her. See, you got to understand how God operates. That's right. He operates in seconds and moments and time. Opportunity to spend time. You about to spend time. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He has prayers. Yes, yes, he does. You say, God, give me more time with my, my mama and my dad. Amen. But you home watching the guy life. Mm. All right. All right. All right. When you yeah. should be spending time. Because God yes. answers prayer. prayer. Yes, he number? does. I got three things. That comes to mind of what I can do for a God who has done all these things that I yes, that yes, I just Father. Yes, my, yes, my, yes. Three things that I can I just I'm just thinking about. Tell the world. God kept me when I when I'm finna lose my mind. Yes, mm -hmm. I, yes, he will. I wanted to understand what was going on in my life. Mm. God was there for me. Yes. How and what can I do mm. for a God like that? Yes. Right. Yes, Lord. Jesus. David pulled out three things to the text. Teach, preacher. Oh, my God. Teach, mm. preacher. Because I want mm. you to understand this. It ain't about the anniversary. That's because right. even when Pastor and I are going on, they still going to be having anniversary. Yeah, all right. All right. about you knowing who is the, the leader of all the church. Mm -hmm. And that's Jesus. The God. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so sometimes we get caught up in all this and we forget who answers prayer? Yes, we do. Who go above our petition? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How can we thank you? Oh my yes. God! David my thought God. about three things. Yes, Lord. And I'm gonna give you one. He says in verse 13, "I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord." Yes, Lord. One, how you can give back to the Lord. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. You can take. Oh, the cup, the of, cup of salvation. Yeah. Yeah. There's some people yeah. in your house that ain't saved right now. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There's some people that you mad at because you ain't prayed for. Mm. There's some people that have done you wrong mm. and you don't want to be around. And so now you begin to pay God. Yes. You know why this church ain't full yet? No. It's because you mad at some folk. Right. And because you thought that because they hurt you, yeah. it was, oh, come on, can I help Come on, come on, come on, yeah. David said, I've been hurt, mm -hmm. I've been talked about, I've been lied on, mm -hmm. I've been persecuted, mm -hmm. but I got to take the cup of salvation. Yes, right. yes. You got to take it, you got to take it. You got to take the cup of salvation. You got to take it. I got to take it. With forgiveness on the table, I got to take it. Yes. So yes. you mad at your loved one, mad at your mama, mad at your daddy. And God is saying, take the cup of salvation. Yes. And salvation yes. is forgiveness. Yes. I used to be mad for years at my mama. Mm. This is a true story. I'm mad at my mama. Mm. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, why? Why did you do the same? To do the stuff that you used to do. All right now. And so on her deathbed, the Lord gave me a revelation. Right. Your mama can only do what was done to her. My God. Now, oh, come on, I want, you, I want you to get this thing. All right. See, some of you are mad with folks because yeah. they, they didn't love you like you thought that they sure, should sure. love you. Come on, man. Yeah. But if you look back over their lives, they wouldn't love you. That's right. So, so if you spend a little time and say, if I was spending a little more time and said, Mother, you need to take up the cup of salvation. Yeah. Now, yeah. If you understood how God loves you, yeah. then you can love me as God loves you. Mm -hmm. Have you done that to the person that you're so mad with? Have mm -hmm. you 
you done that with the mother or father that you feel like did not come up to your standard? Right. Have you done that? David understood to be some time that you got to take up the cup. Yes, yes. yes. yes Jesus. Yes, yes, mm, Jesus. Things that I can do to a God that has been so wonderful to me. Uh -huh. And I'll say thank you too. Now in the presence of all his people. Uh -huh. Well, the worst thing that I can tell you is a closet Christian. You need to tell your neighbor, I'm going public. I'm going public. I'm going public. I'm going to tell everybody yes. about the Lord. About the Lord. I All right. Because a lot of people don't even know you say. All right. I didn't know you went to church. <laughs> Much as you cuss. <laughs> what church you go to? Yeah. And don't let the don't Ooh. let the Indian guy come to church yeah. at the store. They said, surely you ain't in church much loud on you play. Come on, read it. Come on, read it. It's real. It's real. Ah, it's real. Two of them look at the cup of salvation, David said. He said, I'm going public. I let everybody know who I belong to. Have you done that? Have you told everybody about Jesus? Have you told about the goodness and the benefits and how wonderful your God is? Have you spread the good news? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my David God. says, I'm going to let everybody know. And I think that he danced his clothes off. Come on. Yes. Did he mm -hmm. dance his clothes mm -hmm. off? Have you ever danced your clothes off? Mm -hmm. Have you ever gave God your very best praise when mm -hmm. all hell was going on around mm -hmm. you? But you were still dancing. Jesus. You were still praising. Jesus. How can I give a God yes. thanks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, I can take the cup of salvation. Two, I can lift up the cup of salvation. And three, I can call on the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. Call the name. When I get in trouble.